Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I'm going to show a loading indicator and a flash message when we create a task because right now we don't see if that task is created. If I use fake filler here and say submit, yeah we see that this is clean but if the task is created or not we don't know. We don't have a flash message also when we click. So if I inspect the element and let's go to network and in the network, I'm going to uh, select the slow 3G, okay? And let's use the fake filler again. Here is the submit button. If I click, take a look, if I click one uh, more than one time, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, as you can see, only one uh, request is made. By default, LiveWire will automatically disable submit buttons and uh, mark inputs as read-only while the form is being submitted so preventing the user from submitting the form again while the first submission is being handled however uh, it can be difficult for user to detect this loading state so if we refresh and uh, hit again yeah we have an error here but we cannot see that is disabled or not for that, I'm going to show a loading indicator in our project. And if you go to live wire documentation, we have this wire colon loading SEML attribute. And we're going to use this to show a loading indicator, or you can say, for example, saving a po saving a task or what you like. So let's zoom it a little bit, just for you to show and to read more clearly live wire provides a simple yet extremely powerful syntax for controlling loading indicators which is the wire colon loading so adding wire loading to any element will hide it by default using display none in css and show it when a request is sent to the server so when the request is sent it's going to show and here we have an example when a user press save, the save post message will appear below the button while the save action is being executed. The message will disappear when the response is received from the server and processed by LiveWire. Okay, so let's close this and let's open the VS Code. Here I have the button or button, which is this one, and I have made some changes. Now I'm going to paste here a div with an SVG which is a loading SVG and also a span with class SCR only saying loading here. Now if I save this as you can see here's the loading state. Now let's use that wire loading wire call loading SCML attribute and that and this one is going to display when we send a request okay so right now as you can see it's not displaying and let me inspect the element go again to network and slow 3g and let's use fake filler if i click submit here's the loading and yeah now it's closed we updated so the comp the task is created and that's his height okay so this is how we can show the loading indicator in our project with live wire very easy just by using this wire loading okay next thing let's work with the flash message and for flash messages i'm going to open a, a, also the class so the task index class and here when we create a task also we can go in here and we can say a request helper method so calling a request helper method and yeah we have something like this which is suggested for us so request then we chain the session helper method and use a flash and in this to this uh, flash method inside the flash method we can add two arguments so the first one is going to be the name for example the here we have success or we can say something else and the second is going to be the message itself 
So let's say, uh, for example, task created or, yeah, task created successfully. Okay, now if I save this, it's not going to show anything right now because we need to go also in the task index and maybe up here when we have a form. So in here, I'm going to paste the code. Also, you can go and copy this from the flow byte. So we check here if we have a session with a success. So the same we return from a task form. Display this div. And here we have a success alert because I just copy from the flow byte, but let's say uh, for example, task created. And if I save that, also we need to close this span and save this. And now I'll refresh. Yeah, nothing happened, but if I click the fake filler and submit, yeah, as you can see, task created. Okay, friends, uh, that's it all about this video, how to show the loading indicator in our project and also a flash message when we create a new task. So now when we, uh, let's also use inspect elements for the last time and choose slow 3G, select fake filler, and I'm going to zoom it uh, here out, zoom out just to see the old form, also to see that flash message, if I click submit, we have loading state and then we have task created. So what we need in our project in most cases. Now, if you like such a videos, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best.